um, here in Sleepy Hollow, New York. Um, right behind me is Old Dutch Church. It's actually one of the oldest active churches in New York. Um, today I'm going to show you guys around a cemetery, and show, give you guys some history, and show you why this is one of my favorite towns to come around October time, especially around uh, on Halloween. Um, you guys know the legend of Sleepy Hollow was created by Washington Irving. It's actually buried here, and a lot of people that are buried here, he used the names in the story. So, don't get too scared. Stick with me on this adventure. Alright guys, here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Washington Irving. This is where he's buried, with most of his family. Um, he's also one of the first novelists that should get well known around America. Um, he used to be a lawyer, and he decided to become a writer. And he wrote actually, he actually didn't write the story in Sleepy Hollow, he wrote it in England, I believe. Um, he also wrote Whit Van Winkle. One of his best friends was actually Charles Dickinson. So, this guy's kind of what made the town what it is. You know, he's, the town changed the name because of him. This actually used to be North Terrytown. I think in the mid-90s they changed it to Sleepy Hollow. So, this, this is the guy right here. He's the man. I'm actually standing here next to like, one of the first witches of Sleepy Hollow. Her name is Holda. Um, this girl fought actually during one of the Revolution Wars. She used to supply the soldiers with goods. She was trained with them. And she actually fought in the war and she died. So I think last year they remembered her by building her a tombstone. I thought it was really cool because people think Salem is known for witches and stuff, but Terrytown has one too, and this is her. Oh guys, I'm sure you heard of Carnegie Hall because of this man right here. This is Andrew Carnegie, he's where he's buried, he's next to his wife. Um, he's one of the biggest industrialists in America, he created so many jobs, and factories, and it's kind of what made what America it is. A real patriot. Alright, we're here at William Rockefeller's mausoleum. Look at the size of this one. He's buried here along his family. Um, he was best known for his finding, founding of Standard Oil, which is huge. He made billions off it. And he's actually, his, his mansion is actually not too far from here. Um, to this day, he's still recognized. I'm sure you guys know Rockefeller Center. And his family members are still wealthy, still rich. Um, if you guys think Bill Gates has money, this guy probably has more. Um, still well known around his area. And um, we're gonna look over here, actually. This is Archibald. I'm not sure his first name, but this is actually one of William Rockefeller's business rivals. And his mentality was, was genius, was, I'm not gonna go up against him, I'm not gonna do that, no one do it, I'm gonna hire him. So, so he worked for William Rockefeller. So to me, that's one of the smartest business moves you ever do. And we're gonna go to our next spot. Hope you guys enjoy it. Here's a special one for you guys, especially your Dodge fans. This is Walter Chrysler's mausoleum. Personally, I'm a Chevy guy, but this, this guy was created one of the biggest organizations and car companies of all time. So you gotta give him some credit to that. Even though Dodge isn't what he used to be, but this guy is a founder, so you gotta give him props for that. Let's go to the next one. All right, we're in the heart of the cemetery right now. We're actually standing on the Headless Horseman Bridge. It's actually not the real bridge. It's actually a replica. The real one is going to be on Route 9, which we're going to check out later. Um, personally, this is one of my favorite spots. It's gorgeous to take pictures for around, but come stick with me, guys. We're gonna go next spot. All right, we're on Route Nine. Where I'm walking right now is actually the original bridge of the Hell's Horseman story of Sleepy Hollow. But um, this is the bridge where Ichabod Crane had to cross the way from the Hell's Horseman. You guys read the story, which he really didn't get away. But um, now it's a major highway in Sleepy Hollow. This is basically what it is right here. Right. Right, here's the Grim Terrytown. This is Main Street. This is where all the action happens. A lot of restaurants, good food. Right, here's the music hall. Look at that. 1885. How old is this? I actually thought I seen the fictive hotel here. It's pretty cool, right? Hey guys, here in the Riverwalk in Terrytown, you can see behind me the Tapti Bridge. 